Hi students, welcome back. Many a times in an application we require to answer such questions. What is the date after 7 days? Then we can use temporal operator in such case. In this lesson, you will learn how to use interval, the temporal operator provided by MySQL and how to perform date and time arithmetic. You may be logged on to any schema for working with the examples in this lesson. However, I am connected to the demo schema. We are going to use MySQL system dates and times for input data. However, in actual application, the dates and times may come from a table column. In our first example, let us find the day and date after 7 days and display that date in DDTH month YYYY day name format. So our query will be select date underscore format in bracket card date plus interval 7 day then the format mask capital percent D capital percent M capital percent Y capital percent W as week after. So I will execute this query and you get the date after 7 days from today and in the output we get 8th September 2020 Tuesday. Actually in this query we could use one week as unit instead of 7 day. So we can change the unit. Let us try that. So I change that 7 day to 1 week now. Rest of the things will remain the same. And now I execute this query. We should get the same answer. And indeed the answer is same. 8th September 2020 Tuesday. Now there are various units you can use for the interval operator. Now let us try quarter and try to find out the date after two quarters. So I will have to change that one week to two quarter. The unit will change to quarter instead of week. And of course we will have to change the alias also. So that is the alias to suit to the data that we are going to display, the date that we are going to display. Now I execute it again. And you see it comes out to be 1st March 2021. It should be Monday. I will just expand this. Yes, 1st March 2021, Monday. Now you know about how to use the temporal operator interval. Actually the units for interval range from milliseconds to year. It is nearly impossible to cover all of them with examples in this lesson. So please head to the resources section for a link to the list of the units and their names with meanings for further reading. Thus friends we arrive at the end of this lesson. Move to the next lesson to continue learning. Thanks for watching.